hello gemini cancer cuss and welcome to gemini so guys y'all season coming we're running right into gemini it's gonna lead us right into gemini cancer cuss right so some of you cuss will celebrate gemini and cancer all right so we just gonna get a read now here see what's going on with you cusper this may not resonate with all of you but if it do all i ask is you give me a thumbs up Share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss any of my readings. All right, so let's get into it. Spirit, what do you want to talk to my cuspers about? Mm, that was quick. Cusper strength. That's like the Leo card. You may be dealing with a Leo card and trust. Universe wants to talk to you about strength and trust. Might want to check the Gemini reading. Because, yeah, it's all about Gemini uh, having the strength and trusting in this new direction in which they're going in. All right, that's a lot, Spirit. Let's do one more. Can we get one more out here for Cusper? Strength and trust. I feel that something you, you've you got to really have a lot of faith in, Cusper. Strength is... Like on the Leo card is a lady taming a lion. Anybody can't just walk up to a lion, a lion and tame them, all right? Now you may be dealing with a Leo, but it's something that you are trying to get a hold of, an understanding of something that really takes a lot of you, a lot of understanding and trust because trust is there. So you may be trying to get the trust from someone or someone's trying to get the trust from you. And it's taking a lot of strength for you to trust and maybe even a new situation. I'm hearing a relationship. And it's taking a lot of strength for you to see it, possibility of what it is or what it could be. That's what I'm hearing. So we had anger come out in reverse. I'm, I'm telling you, Gemini has some, because Gemini was disappointed in some, it didn't say anger. But they was disappointed in how something didn't work out. Um, go with the flow. So, Cusper, I'm feeling like there's something you're trying to really tame. Overall, you got transformation. But transformation is in reverse. So, the transformation definitely represents changing times. Changing times for you. A different outlook. A different understanding of how you see things so that you can have this metamorphosis that's like changing from a caterpillar to a butterfly. By being in reverse, it doesn't mean it isn't going to happen, but you, it's taken a lot from you to accept some type of change in your life. And that change has to do with you truly trusting it. Uh, anger is in reverse, so you're no longer angry about it. But it's now how you maneuver yourself to get past it. There may have been a time there's something that happened and you trusted someone. And you may have really thought that this was a situation that was going to work out and you were angry. So it's good that angry is in reverse because you're releasing them enzymes that will hold you all captured in your mind, right? On that Gemini side, they may have sleepless nights, have you worried about certain way things is going to turn out. And anger only messes with your own pressure, okay? Your own health, know that. So it's good that anger has been released. So that's something you're getting past. And now it says go with the flow. So now that you've released this fire inside of you of anger, maybe it was toxicity. Maybe you released um, disappointment. Um, I don't know. I just feel like there was something that you truly trusted and believed in. And now you're getting past that. So you are moving past that. I don't feel you completely out of it yet because transformation is in reverse. So you still have some work to do. Okay. Now, it could be anything. It could be relationships. It could have been a family member. It could have been a job. It could have just been a situation that you just was, I mean, I, I just feel like it was just so, so disappointed in how it turned out. But you, I'm also hearing 
that it was a blessing. I'm hearing that. It's protection. Strength card. Why is the strength card here for Cusper? The strength card is here for the two of swords. I swear Gemini had it. There was a choice and it took a lot of strength for you to make this decision. You had to make a decision about something, someone, and this was a mental. The heart already knew that you had to be strong to do it, but the mind wouldn't let us. The mind wouldn't let us because, and this is what I'm hearing, you thought you could tame the situation to work out in your favor. However you want to see that trust, trust that the clarity that you got from this situation brings in happiness. The universe wants you to trust at this time. If you haven't made a decision, I feel this two of swords represents with this blindfold on, you know there's a decision. You already knew the answer. You either did it already and now... You're, you're struggling between your happiness and there, I don't know why I'm hearing here, there may be a situation coming in completely fast, too fast, after releasing one situation that you was like, I just worked on something, right? And then we got transformation here. So I feel like, and this is not going to be for all you customers, if the universe is sending someone in, this meant to be on your journey to help you heal with that. You're not trusting it at all. You like, I'm my own happiness. But the universe is also saying this sun card is clarity. This is happiness. But I think you have to make the decision to accept it. We're going to get more out here. Why is the anger card here in reverse? Give us more about the anger card in reverse. The hermit. Yeah. You had you spent time away from this situation, uh, from this person, whatever it was, you went within to heal. You had to heal from this anger. So you were away from people from some time. And even if you was doing your everyday mundane things, going to work, socializing, doing whatever, you had quiet time to yourself. And you worked on the anger and the healing. Because I feel like you may have felt at some point in time that it was actually really hindering you and taking over. Uh, but with the hermit here, like you might have been playing songs and music. Um, things to calm you down. Could have been spiritual songs. It could have been songs that make you dance. But you was doing this in the own privacy of your home. Own privacy of your space. You know, wherever you were, where you were alone and you had that time, you worked through this. So well done, Cusper. Well done. Because this anger here, this this anger, this is fire. This is hate, harm. Like, not so much hate, but it's like it's it, it consumes the whole body. That whole card is completely consumed with fire. Um, so, and you released it. You released that. And you did it by speaking to your spirit guides. You did it by comforting yourself. You did it by taking a time out to yourself. You did it by taking care of yourself. And people probably didn't even know you were doing this. They probably don't even know that you was going within healing. Something that you was very disappointed in. Go with the flow now. That you should be out of the hermit mode. And what is the flow? The nine of pentacles. Single. The universe is telling you now that you're showing the love and abundance and caring. This nine of pentacles is the ability to continue to accept who you are. To love you first. To put you first. And then nourish everything else around you. And maybe that was a lesson you had to learn. Maybe it's a, something you've been through quite a few times and you wind up single. But the universe is saying, go with the flow now. Like Gemini and them had the nine of pentacles that led to the ten of pentacles. And I know when you were in a situation and you're releasing a certain situation or whatever, the last thing you want to hear about 
is the Ten of Pentacles. But sometimes that Ten of Pentacles is the completion within you. You've ended an old cycle to start a new cycle. Ten of Pentacles represents ending cycles too. So this is you focusing on your Nine of Pentacles. And you know, after the Nine comes the Ten. So that's to the point of getting to the place where you focus on your own stability, but yet your heart is open to build and have the Ten of Pentacles, to have a new foundation, a found foundation, nourishing and caring with love and joy and abundance and not having all the, the grief and toxicity and disappointment in it, the anger in it. And it says, go with the flow. So whatever you're working on right now, Cusper, keep working on it. Keep grounding yourself. Keep putting yourself first. Um, because the universe wants you to spend that time doing that. If it takes meditation, if it takes spending more time by yourself, the universe is saying, just go with the flow. Whatever feels good to you. Because the nine dependent Pentacles is here, and that's usually independent. And someone's going to see that, okay? Once that energy comes out and you flowing, and male or female, guys, I know I use, because I'm using the cards that's here, but this is male or female, guys. You could be dealing, and it could be a, a male, okay? And, um, but yeah, basically, the universe is saying, just keep going. Just keep working on your healing. Go with the flow. And with you going with the flow, look at all that beautiful light. Look at that coming through. And it's taking over and it's going straight up. So above, so below. You're bringing all that light and joy and energy above. And I feel this is the universe bringing it down. And if you've had some struggle with financial situations, that's not happening anymore. Y'all, I'm sorry about the light in here. Um, but that's not happening anymore. The universe is sending what's above. It's flowing straight down to below. So your abundance is going to be beautiful. And you're doing it independently. Let's take a look at this two of swords. Yeah. This two of swords represent you having to make a decision. And that's what I thought it was, right? Having the strength to make a decision, two of swords. And what was that decision about? Two of cups to balance your yin and yang. This is you. Or perhaps there was a third party situation. And you had to have the strength to make a decision to leave something out. So that you can balance on your two of cups, which is you balancing your inner soul, your head, and your heart, and just you. The three of cups could have been a third-party situation, right? We got baby mamas, baby daddies, children, family, jobs, whatever. It still was too many energies. And you knew that you had to make a choice to choose you. And you chose the two of cups to get back into balance with yourself. To trust that you could do this. Whether you walked away from a marriage, a long-term commitment, a job, anything. I feel there was something that it was more than two energies and you walked away and you had to make that choice. And when you made that choice and trusted, that's when the universe says, well, now that you see it clearly, you may have even got signs or synchronicities of what it is you needed to do when you made that choice. But now happiness is coming in. And you're no longer angry at this person or this situation anymore. You accepting it. You went in, you healed, you did the work. And now the universe is saying, go with the flow. Go with the flow. And even though you by yourself, you're going to be fine because that just means when this transformation is still in reverse. Once this transformation is over, you'll be ready to move on. I see the five of wands under the bottom. Yeah, some type of conflict within yourself. And don't have that conflict within yourself, right? The hangman, you may feel kind of stuck right now, you know, but you're being enlightened. And what is you being enlightened about? I can't make it up. Y'all have got to watch Gemini's reading Ten of Pentacles. I told you, something's coming in. And look at the Queen of Pentacles under the bottom. 
<laughs> if it's your males, you got a queen of pentacles coming in very nourishing and caring. Queen of pentacles knows how to grow an empire, knows how to support the heart, but knows how to take care of you financially too, right? When they're in the right space. And I also feel that Cusper, this is you in the right space. Not only are you going to be abundant, but you're going to have the emotion and the happiness and love like something's going to show up that's truly going to make you happy and it's going to be clear that this is what I want to invest in. And your investment has to happen because you're the nine of pentacles and the universe is like, no, we don't want you doing this on your own, right? Ten of pentacles. So you've been enlightened and you will be. If you have not, you're going to be enlightened. That there is something coming your way that you're going to have to invest in. And it may not be right this moment because you're still going through a healing phase. Some of you still may be in a hermit phase, but the universe is saying, just go with the flow. Don't rush yourself. Don't expect tomorrow you're healed, you're done, and the transformation is over. Because when that time comes, you're going to know. I just feel you're going to know. With the sun card, it's clarity, but it's happiness too. So when that happiness and that joy comes over you and that feeling, you're going to know that this is the direction you want to move in. But first, the universe, it's very happy you are releasing whatever grudge you may have had against someone or angry. Even if it was at yourself, it could have been about yourself. You could have been angry at yourself because of the choices that you've made recently or a situation that you made choices in. And you had to be very strong to understand and trust that that wasn't it for you. Or maybe you wasn't ready for it or wasn't open for it. Or maybe you had some other dreams of goal when it comes to a relationship or stability and it didn't match. This is what I'm hearing. And it's not going to be for all the ten of swords in reverse. It's over. That's over. The pain, you've worked on that anger, healing. You may have felt time and time again that you've been in deceptive relationships, that people just disappointed you, that you had broken hearts or whatever the situation may have been. Um, but this is the ten of swords. It's like, I'm back up. Like, I'm done with that. I'm releasing that energy. And I'm not going to let that win. Like, you know, you could have just... I just feel like this is where it comes. The Ten of Swords in reverse. You're done with the deception and the lies. Now you're focusing and nourishing, nourishing, nourishing yourself. And that's when it happens, right? <laughs> you got your... <laughs> pinnacle there, right? Because if you look at the situation, right? You're being enlightened with the hangman, seeing the truth in it, right? You're seeing the truth in it. You got the nine of pinnacles. And then you got the queen of pinnacles here. That what's, what's that? The nine of pinnacles and the queen of pinnacles. That's ten of pinnacles. And that brings you to completion. Ending the cycle for a brand new abundant cycle. Like, this is a lot of pinnacles here. I'm not going to kid you, but and you may say, okay, I don't see any cups. But you got the happiest card in the deck, the sun. And isn't that what really matters? <laughs> that you're going to be happy in whatever situation this is, the clarity you get. And when you move from this being stuck, whether this is someone coming in and offering you at the nine of pinnacles, right? If it's a male, a queen of pinnacles coming in, or it doesn't matter. However you see yourself in relationships. Someone is coming in, and this person is a queen of pinnacles. They know how to love and care and nourish a situation. And this, this person doesn't play games with this type of stuff, right? And not all the time is the three of cups about, um, it's always about third-party energy. No matter what. So if you see it as happy, okay, fine. Uh, happiness and it could be a spirit guide celebrating you that now you're nourishing and caring for yourself and putting everything else aside and healing. But it also can be you understanding that you're too important to have to share your energy when you don't get back what it is that your heart truly desires.
right? You're too special, Cusper. All right, you're a Gemini Cusper for a reason. That's because you don't have to. Just because, you know, you too, right? Because if you think about it, Gemini is two and Cancer be one, that's three. You already got enough energy. So you don't need to be taking on third-party energies, okay? All you need is one more to complete you, and that'll give you four. <laughs> that's what I heard, Cusper. Don't settle, all right? And, um, but I feel this also can be... Um, but with the Ten of Swords here, I have to say it for what I see. With the Ten of Swords, it's the end of third-party situations and third energies. It also can be, this is you finding your balance, your yin and your yang, your light and dark. Everybody has light and dark, right? And we have to work through it. And this could be your spirit guides and angels celebrating you. And that's fine if they're celebrating you and that's what it is. But we're not accepting the fact of any third party energy. Because again, I just told you, you got enough energies of your own. <laughs> All right. So it's however it works out. If you know he wasn't dealing with third party energy and he was just balancing yourself, then this is your spirit guides, ancestors, past on loved ones, celebrating you. They're happy that you found the balance within yourself and you kept the strength and you just kept going and you released the things that needed to be released. So that you could find that balance. All right. Let's get a closing card for you, Cusper. Y'all, I can't wait till the closer we get into June. Y'all know I'm for it because I'm a Cusper June 21st. So I, I'll be selling Cusper. Y'all better be like me, especially if you're on the 21st. <laughs> celebrate Gemini season. I celebrate Gemini season, Cusper season, Cancer season. I'm doing it all. So, look, y'all better... Take advantage of it. And I just feel that these are some changes happening in these seasons for all of us, Geminis and Cancer. So definitely check out Gemini's reading if you think some will relax. It says relax. The moon in Cancer. I can't. Y'all seen me shuffle. Read it for yourself. Relax. The moon in Cancer. I think by the time Cancer season get here, cusper. I told you, celebrate Gemini's and now you celebrate Cancer. They hating on us. They gonna hate on us. Ain't they? Them customers, that ain't no reason to hate because we get to celebrate for two months straight. <laughs> and, hey, it's our time, right? So we deserve that. So look at this. Celebrate. Go ahead. Love yourself. Care about yourself. Do beautiful things for yourself. Step out there. Keep going, Cancer. Whatever you do. Go with the flow because the universe is like, they right here. Go with the flow. All right? Celebrate Gemini season and Cancer. If you celebrating both of them and you cuspers, definitely give me a thumbs up, a heart down below. Say uh, cusper here so I know how many of us going to be celebrating for two months straight. <laughs> Even tell me what you plan on doing for Gemini season. Do you got plans for Cancer? Let me know if any of this resonated. And if it didn't, then just give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you guys don't miss any readings. Love and light, Cuspers. Bye.